and we are here building the final bag of Lego Ninjago. Not sure if anyone's on, but I figured I'd stream it just in case anybody's on and wanted to chat. So I'm going to finish up this one and then finally be done with this and go back to the Falcon. The one thing I can say about this set is the, picture, the stickers. Too many stickers. I can't imagine they would be able to print all these pieces, but there's just so many stickers. Hey, Cade. I just threw the stream up because I'm down here finishing up the Ninjago City in case you didn't hear what I just said. So I figured I'd stream it in case anybody wanted to chat while I was doing it. And that's about it. So you can see the big tower here just did the sushi restaurant. This is pretty cool. Tons of stickers on this tower and that one's really crooked. I'm going to fix it though. So any Lego news going on? Anything exciting? Any builds going on by anybody? Hello Imperial Officer. That sounds like what I want to do is the Star Wars stuff, but I'm finishing up the Ninjago City right now. So I figured I'd show this monstrosity. This thing is enormous. And I'll pick it up at the end, but this is the final bag. So I figured why not stream it while I'm down here anyway, and it's quiet. Ro Lego roller coaster? That sounds cool. You should send pictures. Send us an email. I'm always curious what people do with roller coasters. I don't like the Friends roller coaster. I thought it was the, the purple one. I know the purple or no, like a teal blue. I might build a school for my Lego thing. Nice. They have the school, the Friends school. They did the the Valley High School, whatever it's called. Are you basing it off or something like that, or just your own creation? weird antenna thing, you know what it's supposed to do. I bend pieces. <laughs> Alright, I bent that thing. I'll make a video if you want to watch that. It's custom. Cool. I'm looking to do more of the Star Wars stuff. And I'm going to put this antenna on now. Going right over here. That's what that little platform was for. This thing just keeps getting higher and higher. It's never been in the last section of the... The last section of the... Inside City. Don't mind me. We don't have Drew, so I'm... Just organizing a couple things. my own custom one based a rear that's cool I want to do custom stuff and then I start getting ideas and then I realize I have to order all the pieces and if I sketched it first it probably helped me because a lot of times I just start going and then I realize okay I need this piece and this piece and then I'm ordering a million pieces and waiting for a million pieces maybe if I was a little more organized with my custom stuff I would actually get it done like some radio intent radio station on the top of this in Jago City. That's usually and usually the best stuff is the stuff that's based on something that you live. I find that those seem to come out the best.
So this will be good. I'll finish this, and then I'll be able to go back to the Millennium Falcon and actually finish it and put it in my table. And showing this one off is tough. It's just these things, they, they're so giant, it's hard to get them on a the camera unless I bring a camera down. Possibly fill them with a cell phone, actually. It's probably the best. And it's going to go in the city somewhere. Version 2. Nice. Braking system and everything, huh? So now you guys send our... I couldn't find your channel. I looked for your channel, and I couldn't find it the other day. I looked quick because I had to go, but I didn't see it, so... Let me know what your channel is, and then maybe I can see it if you post an actual video up. Six mini fits. Nice. Now you just need to have some sound effects like screams and stuff going on in the background or something, maybe. If I keep this, the chat this time. Last time you guys were chatting and I didn't realize the chat had scrolled some more, or it wasn't coming in because I didn't see a bunch of the chats until after the stream ended. Which is real strange. What is this thing? Click the egg on the, on the chat, it brings you my channel. I can't do that right now while I'm doing this, because that would just mess me up. But. Drew won't kick you out if you if you post your. I typically don't put channel names in the thing, but if you have a channel name, you can put it in there and it won't get erased right now. So I can see what it is afterwards. See who else shows up if they see the stream is live or anything. Like I said, I didn't announce anything, so. I'd be surprised if anybody shows up. Been busy around here. Got a new dog, and that's been keeping me away from building stuff, but I'm managing to slowly sneak away and build a little bit. I love these doors. The Asian style doors here. They just look cool. The little, they call them a, they call that a shoji screen. I believe they still call it that. My channel name is beside my image. Okay. I'm looking. Uh, it doesn't let me... It doesn't show me anything. That did not help. A picture of your guy, your image of the cup. That's it. I'm going to click on the little thing here. Go to channel. There we go. Open the link in a new tab. Uh, I hope it's not playing stuff because I don't need that playing crap. Not crap, but playing stuff while I'm on this one. So, Oh, there we go. See, I searched your name the other day. It didn't work. But I'll look at it afterwards. Strange dog. Okay. Now I get it. It is under your name. And I can peek at it afterwards. I'd like to know how far over this goes. I can't tell. There or here. Not quite sure where these doors actually line up on this thing. Has anybody has anybody else built this on here?
That's strange. You put the door... Huh. There's been some very, very, very cool and very strange building techniques on this, I have to say. I have to say. Some stuff. Yeah, I would never think of the combination. I made a playlist of strange dog. I could give you a video of, of strange dog. It's our it's our new dog that we adopted because she's pretty strange. I think the doors go there. Quite sure. This is the last bag. I'm very excited to finish this, and then I can go back to the Falcon. The Falcon's going to take over the table for the rest of the time, and then I'll be back on the city, working on the city. So I haven't done a lot in the city. I did give a city update um, last week, or yeah, last week, and. Got a, a lot of people excited about that, and so plan on redoing the city. Bags over here, of street tiles, and that kind of stuff. So that'll be fun to finally work on the city again, which is the most exciting stuff in LEGO, it seems. And everybody seems to search for LEGO City updates. Gets the most hits, and the most people looking at it, and the most commented stuff on my channel. Is this set worth the money? I think so. It, it's it's massive. It's uh, I guess it depends on your what your taste is too. But it certainly would fit awesome in any city. But it is very big, so you gotta keep that in mind. You have a lot of small buildings with modular stuff. It's gonna be taller than all of them, and it's gonna be and it's very heavy. Probably not as heavy as the Millennium Falcon, but it's heavy. It's a big set. Definitely a big set. And why can't I find this one piece? I'm looking for a corner piece. It's a one by one. Cade Pro, there it is. Cade probably knows the what this is called. One by one corner tile with side walls. I don't know. But I found it. Alright, so that's good. A lot of little pieces. That's the nitty gritty, and then it's me looking for pieces because I can't see anything anymore. That's what happens with the eight hour stream of the first. Five bags of Millennium Falcon, I just couldn't see anything anymore, and Drew was handing me pieces that made no sense because he couldn't see anything anymore. It was quite amusing. I get this coffee cup going into the. That's weird. So I should put the coffee cup on first, so that's what it's showing. It is a big set, expensive set. All the sets seem to be expensive these days, too. We get this coffee cup, this pink coffee cup. Have you made a pink coffee cup before? I don't know. And what is it? A lot of interior detail on this thing. That stuff that if I never plan to open it, no one's gonna see. And I was contemplating kind of not putting the pieces in. One by one, it's in doors on L. Really? It's in doors. Doesn't make any sense. Not a door. Not, left, left, not a lot left though, out of 4,500 pieces or so on this set, or whatever the piece count was, I forget. I'm just looking for... I swear the stuff is here. And there it is, there we go. Just, I've been down here too long again. I haven't been down here that long, an hour and a half. And my eyes are it's late, so my eyes start getting buggy at night. Watching on Nick a show called I Am Frankie. I like I Am Frankie, actually. It um the season just ended. And I'm hoping they do a second season because I like watching it with my son. But I actually like it. It's pretty cool. I won't give you any spoilers, don't worry. We're going to have a door that slides here. So I'm going to hold this on top shortly because that's going to fall off. And there we go. There's the sliding rail top. I always like that technique when they do this. They lock in a door with the rail pieces. Just a cool way of doing that. 
Now we are building this round outer set outer wall for these. What episode are you on? I am Frankie. So here we have the bottom of this, whatever this thing is. Even if someone knows what part of the tower this is. And I didn't even notice the... I didn't even notice this in the movie. I know it was in the movie somewhere, but... There was so much stuff going on in the movie, I didn't even... I forgot about paying attention to see this in the movie. Because it was kind of all over the place. Just finished the last episode. Nice. Did you like it? Did you like the season? I thought it was good. Some... I mean, it's a kid's thing. I'm older, but I still enjoyed it. And my eight-year-old definitely liked it and is hoping that there's a season two. But I haven't heard anything yet. I think the show did pretty well. All these weird antenna pieces coming out of the windows here, whatever this is. No, did I do that one backwards? Of course I did. Put the window in backwards. Let's spin this around. I just find the evil. <laughs> I found Tammy, the girl Tammy, overdone. The evil twin thing, yeah. Oh, so that's what is this? This guy. I thought this was something else, but apparently this is part of the tower. I got this guy with the evil fish hiding inside here right now. No, he doesn't go there. He doesn't. But why would you do that? Why would you hide the chef's hat and stuff in there? Because you can't get to it. If I put it in there, you can't get to it again. I'll take the ship's house out. I guess it's a little storage space. Alright, so there's part of the tower. This thing's getting bigger. Again. What do you mean evil twins are overdone? Never seen such a thing. Never heard such a thing. Final, getting down to the final pieces of this is it's all of, kind of very. I guess it's it's exciting when you get to the end. And in some cases, if you wanted to keep building, I guess you could be upset too. But I want to finish this and then go to the Falcon, and that'll be one that'll be fun to finish. And then I'll be like, I'll be sad that it's finished. Like, why can I not find a piece that I need? Because I'm looking for the wrong piece. It's this one. I'm making more of this. Weird tower thing, whatever it is. I like the top of the hole in it. What top? This? Alright, we got that. Whatever that may be. Now we're building two of these things. Like this here. Some more clipping pieces. Do I have some more antenna things or something? Like that. And those hats make good tops. With the uh, the um. The chef's hat, or the, or the Chinese style hat, because there's four of those sitting in a room in, in the clothing store area that you can't see now unless I take the top off. Right. 
really getting down to less and less detail. There's a lot of small pieces and a lot of detail stuff looks like coming out. All right, bright green line pieces here, making some funky something. I got line these apparently just put these like this. I'm gonna put four of these on. Sure. Easy if you did. Tell me that first. these, these things, or this, I'm spinning the balance, <laughs> I'm spinning hats, or those round, the yellow things, whatever those are, you know, the hats, they're like sad, like fish pieces, I call them, alright, that was awkward, flip this over, here. Can you spin them? You put a one you put a one by one in the middle of the handle. I can do this. Have some that made it too heavy. <laughs> I can't spin it. Yeah, this might work. That piece there. That little green ball. I don't know what it is. There you go. Now it spins. It's spinning in there. <laughs> and everyone wants to go to Lego City. Any advice on the subject? How old is your nephew is my first question. Because the city can be anything that they want. Custom. The first question is why I'm just, because I don't know your, your nephew is how old are they? Helps me put the pieces on the right way too. You, as I should ask too. If you have a nephew, you could, uh, you could be any age, because I know people have nephews that are younger than the uh, same similar age. So. He's about seven. Okay, so my son is eight. And my advice is use what he's got first and you know, think of what how what kind of city is going, and not how big or anything like that, because you limit yourself. But I think pun above. Right? Show him videos of other people's cities. See what he gets for ideas, and. That may help if something inspires him. I usually inspired by like you, like somebody, one of you said stuff that you is in your. I think it was you. Stuff in your neighborhood, stuff that you can you want to replicate and see. Hey, build this. It doesn't have to have the right colors because I'm thinking of seven. He's not going to have all the right pieces he needs, and that stuff can be from an older person. I guess that'd be frustrating for a kid. They might not care as much if the colors don't match up the same. Oh, this is the hole that I'm building. Ah. Wasn't sure what you're talking about. I know Lego it seems to be going nutty with these new pieces that they have. The round mac the round tile pieces, as well as these wedge shaped pizza pieces. I see them constantly now. They like I think they're like going overboard on like we have this new piece, we're gonna keep using it. It don't get me wrong, it's a cool piece and you, it does create a lot more stuff you can do in detail, which is funny, I see it, ever since I've seen this piece, I hadn't had any of them, and now I seem to have lots of these little pie pieces everywhere. Ah, 
হ্যাঁ 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 Yeah, and back to Imperial Officer, I think. Start anywhere, start with what you got. Maybe he has some city sets already. Maybe he wants an ocean theme. I started mine off with the beach area, you know, based on some areas that I grew up there, near the beach. So that could be a starting point. So I'm building this weird thing. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. It's a pretty cool way of doing that. This gives, and see, like, building stuff like this gives me ideas for other stuff where you can, I could think of using something like this as a tunnel or an entrance to something. It's a nice round area. It just looks pretty neat. And you could, you don't need the fence pieces. You could use more of the round macaroni style pieces as well and creating some pretty cool stuff. Now we're adding some more to this. This is unique the way they're building this, like, to say the least. Not something I would think of. And I'm not a Lego designer, so although it wouldn't be a bad, it would be a fun thing if I was. Maybe someday. I have, some fr I have a friend that is a Lego designer. He is a title is Master Builder. That's pretty cool. Right, I need two of these. Was that any help, Imperial Officer, or did, or did, I, just, did I just confuse you? Because I know when I was little, I wanted to build a lot of stuff. I didn't have a lot of Lego or and nobody bought me a ton of Lego, and so maybe I'm making up for it now as I'm older and buying this stuff because I can. But it doesn't mean you need to stop doing you're young either, so... It just, a little, it just makes it a little harder. And now I'm making some more of these columns. This is... I'm going to see the end of this very shortly. It's pretty cool. Some more of these rounded columns. Four of those. Make four of these. A nice sand green color. They're starting to also use a lot more sand green in the old fishing store. And as you can see in this, sand green used to be one of those colors that you didn't get a lot of and the pieces were expensive. And now, you seem to have a lot more of it. And why do I only see three of these? Do one more column. And, oh, there it is. It's hiding. I always get worried and think, oh, I'm missing a piece, missing a piece. And it's usually in front of me somewhere. Hello, Tatiana. I like. Thank you. I think I've seen you in here before. Trying new stuff. I do have the city update. A little quick update I posted a couple of days ago. And then the Millennium Falcon. I think I'm going to finish most of it off camera and then do the last bag on camera. This is a pretty cool part of the tower right here. And you're seeing the last bag, the finishing, you know, finish the final touches on this, which is fun. Probably cool to see the end of something, you know, see it coming to a, an end. You'll be the first ones to see it built live. That's fun. Yeah, and a lot of these sand green tiles. You haven't posted the zoo update. No, the zoo update. The zoo is at the moment on hold because I was too many other things got in the way, and then it was getting expensive. So right now it's in it's in sections. It's not broken apart or anything, but I haven't had a chance to do anything else with it. So I'd like to go back to the zoo at one point. What do they want me to do? Turn it over and do what? Look at it. Oh, these pieces from the instructions. You like the zoo, though? I'm assuming you like the zoo, if you're asking about it. Cool.
cool. Yeah, I had some good feedback on the zoo, so I should finish it at one point. Or I'll just make a smaller version of what I was planning, just because it's going to be enormous. And this, and I had to reorganize the space down here, and it was running out of space, so the studios changed. And so once I get everything, once I get these built, this built, and the Millennium Falcon built, and then the fishing village, then I, maybe I can work on the zoo again. I want to do the city update, too, so there's too much stuff at once. That's my other problem. I keep doing it all over the place, from one thing to the next. Yeah, no guns on my channel. <laughs> it's a that's completely different topic. <laughs> I like lots of different things. And I thought about doing other channel another channel that was not Lego related but I'm not sure time wise anyway. I wanna had some ideas that I'm thinking about just keeping them secret for now and we'll see. No brick arms. Well, some of the brick arm stuff is cool. The custom stuff, like Brick Warrior, is the Brick Warriors make some cool stuff. I like Brick Warrior. I have I don't have anything from them. And some of the non Lego brands have some pretty cool, you know, war related stuff, which I think is neat. And I know Lego doesn't plan to do anything that, you know, that's vi that promotes violence, so... What did you get? Wow, getting down to the nitty nitty gritty, and I have to do this twice on it. Oh, you stink. I hate when I don't see that you have to do it twice, because I usually build it twice at the same time. So I just did this silk section, I can do it again. I usually like, I wasn't paying attention, I usually do that all at once. But that's okay. Six figs and 300 weapons. Wow. You're making an army? I cannot come to your stream, Cade. Because I'm doing this stream. So that wouldn't be fair to the people watching this one. And I'd get very confused. And then I'd hear you talking on my channel, and that'd be weird too. Now a SWAT team. Nice. Clone troop. Nice. I'd like to see what other people are creating. Cade's creating something because he, really, he wants to get me to the stream while I'm in midstream. Get me to his stream. Thanks, Imperial. Thanks for stopping in. It's always fun talking to people while I'm building. You have a mini city. You have a channel also. He's got his, and then after the stream, I'll peek in. Are you so you're gonna start your stream after this one? Is that what I'm get? Is that what I'm understanding? <laughs> Are you already streaming? Killing the Lego game. Hey Ryan. What are you killing? Ryan is somebody that I met in line buying the Million Falcon. The last bag, yes. <laughs> it's about time. The last bag, the last little bit of pieces on the table here. It's even better. I almost make it sound like it's a chore. It's not a chore. It's just I wanted to finish it. And now we're adding in all the little detail stuff on this thing. I guess this is some sort of all these antennas and radio towers. And 
This thing is massive, though. It's hard to get it on the screen and show people. Even with that camera way up there, I could bring this in, but it's just a top-down view, so it's just weird looking. Mm -hmm. See that? Yeah, some more satellite. This is all some weird satellite stuff. You know what they want me to do here? Three of these weird flat dishes. Eh. Yep, she is a sub. I believe Ryan subbed as well. He has his own channel. He's been doing forever. A lot longer than I've been doing YouTube stuff. So yeah, this. Here we go up there. I'm gonna bring this camera down at one point. I had a third camera when Drew's here. It's over here so you can see close up. He took that one with him. I need to get another one with a nice HD camera. And definitely could see like close up of what's going on and that was definitely helpful. People commented on that and so I need to get pick up another camera for that. So I have two cameras going live. I can do I can do three or four or whatever on this. All attached to the computer, which is pretty cool. Yeah, me too, Tatiana. You have too, too long, Ryan. What's too long? The video, or is this taking too long for you? <laughs> Can't go faster. I like how they use fishing. Speaking of guns and stuff, they have these long spears and whatever these things are that are becoming antennas, fishing rods, and different things that become antennas for the top of the building. And most of the stuff, like, I could exclude it, not even put it in, and no one even notice, besides the ones that stick out. These arms, these weird things that go here, whatever those are supposed to be. Some sort of lightning bolt type thing. So I'm putting those on now. I was looking for your... I was th thinking your where you work was right off of the highway, right off of the main road there, Route 2, but I didn't see your store, so I never stopped in. Is it down that road next to the mall? Because maybe then I can find it if I have a chance where I happen to go that way. Stop in and say hi. Where are the minifigs? The minifigs are all over the... all over this. And I might do a little funky thing with the computer afterwards and show you. But they're all over the building right now. And this is getting added to the top. So we're getting down to where the blow the blowfish part and that. So this is adding in. And as now you can see it's even taller. Let's see, bring that into view a little more. Feel the light, but See, it's way up to here now. Now we're building this some sort of dragon thing. It looks like a, it looks like a dragon. This is the last pieces of this. Pretty cool. It's exciting to get this complete. Finally, 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 finally. This last part didn't get this puffer fish built, and then I can work on the this. This and the fishing village are two of the things that I was wanting in the city to and revamping the city. So I'm going to redo the layout, the street color, and a few other things. So here's one of the main things. This guy holding a, it's like a robber, I don't know what he is, holding a fish with blue flames coming out of it. You can tell me what that means. I don't know what it means. I've got these Technic pieces going in. This is I don't know what this is. It wants to just sit here weird. Like that. And I'm building another half of this thing. Gray pieces on left. These? Yeah, those are for the street. Or sidewalk. Sidewalk. The sidewalk's going to be lighter. 
and the street will be a dark gray. Fish squirting water. I guess it could be water, yes. That would make more sense than fire. Than blue ice or whatever I was thinking it was. So I think younger, you know, maybe because I'm older, I thinking just well look, I know that they use it for fire, but yeah, it makes sense that it's water. Duh. And then this is going here. I oh, forgot these little green. Well, it didn't tell me to put them in yet. Put them in now. The green bow things here. There's the one inside the top. So what is this, Kate? Is my building a? I don't know what this is. It's going on. Whatever it is. It's a fish. And it's going right here. That's what that little thing was. Some sort of fish going right there. Now we are building the puffer fish, and this part looks the trickiest. Lots of eight of these orange wrenches. They're translucent orange wrenches. This is creating this puffer fish, which look does look really cool on the side of the top of the building. So let's finish putting these wrenches on. Eight of them. That piece is old fire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know that you're talking about. I'm sure it's used in some other stuff too. Now we're putting on four. Out of these eight, we're putting on four of these top pieces. This is making a ball. I'm guessing this is not going to be that simple once I get that going because everything moves. I have to cut all go together like a ball to make the puffer fish. Alright, so we got that. I think the bigger one with this dome, the dome going here. I use they use these um, compass kind of steering. Oh, there we go. So that holds those four plates. We're gonna do that again, I'm guessing. Right, so now we're taking another compass piece, steering wheel piece, two by two jumper dome. Two by two jump. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know. Is it called a jumper dome? And what am I doing here? We're getting some orange on some of them, but not all of them. Are. Now we're doing four orange and looks like a few black ones. Three black ones. We're getting more specific on where I need to place these now. Okay, I need wrenches. There's always tons and tons and tons of wrenches left over. It seems in a lot of sets. All right, so we got that, and now we're adding some more of these. Oh, not yet. Got this one by one, as Drew would call it, a grabby thing. It is a cool design how they do that. And then this fan piece, it's like a, it's a tail. The tail is. I don't know. Turn the tail that way and put these pieces on. The instructions always are weird to me because it doesn't always say to put them on in the right order sometimes, and so it's confusing. But it's turning into a ball. You'll see over, you can see over there possibly in the book. Not wrenches. One by one bar with clip. Why well, you ruined it for me? I call them wrenches. I'm still gonna call them wrenches. Because they look like wrenches. But I actually didn't know what they were called. So I was, it's when I'm looking for one and Drew's here or something, I say, can you hear me one of the wrenches, the black wrenches? But a one by one bar with a clip makes a lot more sense. See, I should know this stuff. And I think I said it before. I probably should. So get this going together. Not quite the ball yet. It's starting to be, and I might be, doesn't make sense. Doesn't seem to demand which way it goes. Now we're adding eight more of these things, and it looks like they go um, one there. I guess for any of the empty 
one by one bars with clips, wrenches. Grabber is one by one with clips. Yeah, I do. I do know that one. I just think it's funny that it's a joke with me and Drew that he called it a one by one grabby thing, and so I keep calling it. Just use it all the time that way. Can you see this ball coming together here, though? Hi, Tiana. Welcome back. And did I miss one? I think I got them all. I think that's a fall out. Like I said, this is probably delicate. A little weird looking. Put this open here, and then the opposite side, they want this here. this over here. I'm going to put a hat on top of this like that. Strange. And the one eye is yellow and one is white. And then this goes somewhere. Right, that makes no sense. Trying, have one next to me. Come with speed champion in city sense. So this is supposed to go here, like this. Weird thing. I don't think I'm missing a spot to put one of those on. And just going on the top of the city. Where's the other eyes supposed to go? Here. And this weird puffer fish thingy goes on the inside. There, like that. Strange looking thing. The fish has a hat face. The fish is weird. I'm not quite sure on that thing. What do you call these? Okay. These arms. I'm sure there's an official name. Not an arm. Robot arm. And then put on the final sticker. So I'm happy to done with the stickers. Because the stickers on this, there's just too many of them. So I haven't gotten all of them on quite straight and I wasn't too concerned because they wouldn't be in real life, they would never be all straight and perfect. Well, yes and no. So we got this sign on, and this sign is going underneath that fish right here. Kind of flaps in the wind. We got these pieces that look like they should be going somewhere. What did I miss? Because we got all these gray pieces that definitely should have gone somewhere. I'm just going to figure out what I missed. And then I've got metallic robot arms. See, Kate, I missed these. Don't seem to be of any importance of missing because everything's together. But they certainly went somewhere. Don't know where. I'll make my own thing out of them. I don't see them anywhere. What? They were from this bag. We'll look one more time. If it's antenna stuff, I don't care. If it's something internal at this point, eh, doesn't matter. But I don't see them. I'm just looking here to see if it's maybe like a reinforcement piece. Nothing to do with this. Nope. Not over here. Not here. Nope. Nothing here. Not there. Or there. Or there. Or there. Well, they obviously went somewhere. 
Yeah, there's a lot of spears. There, there, there's spears in here. There's a crab. There's all kinds of stuff. I don't know what these were for. There's four of these. It seems like they left each other gone to something. Not quite sure what. But it's finished! Yay! I'll look one more time, but I don't see those pieces anywhere. Not anywhere. Nowhere. Not even inside anywhere. Not back there. Were they from another bag? No, because I just pulled them out. Were they from this thing? No, no clue. Don't you know. I don't know what they were from. I'm going to start your stream soon. I'll check out quick. I don't get to stay long, but I can at least peek in. And because I know you always join this one when, when I'm here. And I don't go to a ton of streams. What is this? Hmm. I was just messing around with these extra pieces. I don't know what that could be. It spin. Talking about spinning, here we go. This thing spins. So let me see when I try this is to just show a quick view of the building. So it's massive, yes. And if I take this one, can I do that? Without disturbing anything, let's see. There is kind of a shot of the building. You can see there, the front side there with the clothing store up here. The tower up here. There is the bottom here. And let's spin it some more. And we get the flower part, the tree coming out of the building, which is really cool looking. Coming on the back, we have the elevator, which is lacking a lot, I think. But I'm probably going to, I might reinforce this a little bit, just make it a little bit, change it up a teeny bit to make it a little more secure. Maybe enclose it with some glass on the side and stuff. It seems like we do a bunch with that to enclose it. But I like the, down the bottom, you have the river, with the guy on the boat. And let's spin it around. If you're chatting, I'll check it in a second. But that's back to the front. That was... The first thing I made. What was that? The first thing I made? You mean the first... Video, I mean? Sorry about drinking on camera. But I just finished the build, and cool to see you guys in here. And I, like I said, city updates, and the white thing on the bottom. I don't know. Bye, Cade. I will take a peek to see if you're on your stream. Tatiana, thanks for watching. Whoever else is, I know there's three people today watching. One's probably quiet in the background. Maybe it's Ryan. Don't know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter. I haven't posted pictures on Twitter. I mean, on Instagram as well. I built from bricks, you know, updates from this and other just Lego related stuff as I find the time. And, yeah, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe and stay tuned each week for more fun, crazy episodes. What have you built today? <laughs>